want to welcome you to Dream Chasers Radio with me, your host, Yaya Diamond. What's up, people? How you doing? Oh, my gosh. I have a wonderful guest. As, as a matter of fact, I have a return guest. And you guys know how I love, love, love updates. And we have an update. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you we get an update. But, I mean, obviously... We, we need to make sure that you know who I'm talking about. So I'm going to say welcome to the show. Please tell everybody who you are and what you do, please. Okay, well, nice to be back. Yeah, yeah. my name is Joe Hodgson. I'm a guitar player from County Tyrone, Northern Ireland. I've been in numerous bands over the years, made quite a few albums with different people. And last year, I released my first solo album, which was an album of 15 self-penned instrumentals. So quite a few things right. have happened since we last spoke, you know? Oh. Oh my gosh, so the last time we spoke was on the eve of your first single, the one that got away, taken from the uh, Apparations album, right? That's correct, yeah. Ah, so how have how been going? Tell me, tell me what happened. Now you tease me, and now I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm boning here. You got to okay. tell me. Well, the, the momentum has <laughs> slowly, slowly been, been building. The, the, the first single, like I was sort of like an unknown quantity as, as a mm -hmm. solo artist. And I, I got quite a few great reviews from uh, different small publications around the world. Then I released uh, a double A side in uh, October of last year, a song called Bareback Blues and Serena Sonata. That got even more sort of exposure. Then I released the album, which I ended up getting reviewed in about 25, 30 publications from different places around the world. All got, I was amazed that I didn't get a single bad review, which was for an instrumental album. That's, I was very pleased with that. And it culminated in um, the third and final single from the album, a song called Till the Last Breath, which I just recently released. And actually got featured in uh, Guitar World magazine. And also I got a, a full length, full page uh, feature in uh, a Sunday national newspaper in, in Ireland. So that was a nice way to sort of, to, to round the whole, the whole album off, you know? Man, I mean, man, congratulations, man. Oh, Thank okay, you. I got a celebrity on my hand here. Oh, I don't okay. know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Okay, 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 I got I got it back off. Right, congratulations, though, because I know you that you were looking forward to putting that out and, and, and you were concerned the last time about what people would think about it and all that stuff. But you know what? You, recently, you have recently been described by Steve Newton as one of Canada's leading rock journalists as the best guitar player that you've ever heard of. And you've been compared to people like Steve Vai, Gary Moore, and Eddie Van Halen. I mean, come on, come on. How do you react to that? I mean, seriously. Well, exceptionally, yeah. exceptionally flattered to be mentioned. I gotta, I gotta stop you, I gotta stop, I gotta stop here. Because, man, when you got all those names in succession and then now it's you, you have got to be falling. Like, your jaw has got to be dragging on the ground every day. <laughs> well, I kind of, it, it actually humbled me more than anything else, you know. But it, it was mm -hmm. just, but one thing it, it taught me was that I think I was, I'm doing something right. You know, if people were mentioning right. me in the same breath as these people, man, I don't for for women to believe like that, that's you know that, that I'm in the same class as that. But if people want to say it about me, I'll gladly take the compliment. I'm sort of bowled over by it, to be honest, you know. And hey, one thing that makes I me do it, it makes me want to continue. It makes me want to be a better guitar player, practice more, record more, write more. So it's mm -hmm. it's, it's a positive thing to for people to have said, you know. Mm -hmm. I, 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 man, man. I'm just, I'm so happy you're on my show. Like, I'm <laughs> humbled <to> now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you so much for, for, you know, coming back and giving us this update. I love updates. I love it when people succeed and when I hear these things, man, it just, it just, it warms my heart. It makes me feel so good. And I just, I'm so happy for you, man. I'm very oh, happy for you. you. Thank man, you. wow. Okay, so, okay, I got to get back to this. Let me stop. Okay, <laughs> you're, you're, okay, so, but, but, okay, like any other instrumentalist, you know, out there, you like to pick and choose different genres because your, your music doesn't seem to fit one, one category of music, one genre. So it's obvious that you have many influences and inspirations. Can you tell me who they are? Well, I'm influenced, influenced by lots of different styles of music. I mean, I, I always say one thing, there's music I like and music I don't like, you know? So I like everything. Mm -hmm. And I was, 
I grew up listening to like the great Irish guitar players like Gary Moore and Rory Gallagher, and then I got into all the, the great Americans like Randy Rhodes and Van Halen. But I also love like Latin music and people like Santana, and I love mm. like Motown music and and more and melodic bands like ELO and um, what do you call Fine Young Cannibals. So I, I feel that the, having such a wide sort of range of influences like hopefully sets me a little bit apart it's because what, what I do isn't strictly although I'm a rock and blues bass player like mm-hmm. all these other influences come in and, and hopefully they make me a little bit you know make me unique you know <laughs> yeah, yeah definitely, I hope so definitely. I hope so too man you know I, I, you got to come back on the show man oh I mean, yeah literally now you got me hooked you just can't like so, drop I, me and then oh I had oh, oh, such a so great time the first time I was I was always going to come back you know I'm so proud of you, man. I'm so proud oh, of you, you, man. Thank oh, you. you warm my heart, man. You warm my heart. Okay, so so the title of the current album, Apparations, right? Yeah. Would you suggest that the, that you're kind of like a spiritual guy, you know? Would you would you agree with that? Well, coming from Ireland and having been raised as a Catholic, we were taught that there's only one spirit, and that's the Holy Spirit, you know? Mm-hmm. And that the, the battle between God and, and the devil is the only battle that exists. Uh, but however, in Irish culture, we're, we love to share tales of, of a sort of ghostly nature. And you'd often hear stories of how people have been haunted or had a visitation from a loved one who had passed into the next world. Mm-hmm. Was, um, the fact or ability to tell a good story can be seen in so many of the famous Irish writers like Bram Stoker and Joyce and Beckett. And mm. so I'm influenced by all that and also by the Irish trait of not shying away from explicit expression. I mean, mm. don't get me wrong, like I'm a, I'm a God-fearing man, but I'm open to believing in, in the ghostly tale or two, you know. But I'm mm-hmm. kind of grateful for everything. Yeah, I am alive and I, I, I do believe that God gave me the gift of understanding music on a deep and a hope spiritual level. So I hope that answers that question. Man, I'm telling you. I, I, yeah, you did. You answered the question. You, I'm just, you know, I'm so, I'm so happy for you. So thrown, thrown back by the success that you've had because man, that's what we're looking for. That's what, what that's what it takes. You know, what, what, okay. So now that you've come from the first release, back you know back when we did this the first time and we had the interview the first interview till yeah. now what what kind of suggestion do you give to people who now want to go after their dreams what what other nugget can you drop because you've come from there to here now with everything that you got going on what yeah. can you tell those people you know i would say that you've got to live it you know you've got if you, if you want to be a musician you've got to live it every day you've got to play every mm-hmm. day you've got to if you're a writer, you've got to try and write something every day. And more than anything, you've got to believe in yourself and believe mm-hmm. in yourself hundred percent. And there, because there are going to be people who are going to put you down or laugh at what you do or you know whatever. Definitely. But don't don't take it to heart. You know, I mean, the worst mm-hmm. thing you can do is like you know make a song that someone doesn't like. Who cares? You know, as long as, yeah, I mean, as, long, yeah. as, as long as you like it yourself. You know. Exactly. Exactly, so, man. I'm telling you, that's so uh, wonderful. Thank yeah. you so much, man. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. You I'm proud of you. I'm so happy thank for you. You. Uh, you know, I can say that you were on my show. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. You're too kind. Oh, man. Thank you so much. And thank you for, for that advice, you know, because a lot of people give up right before. Just just a little bit more they need, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I've had so many knockbacks over the years. and. <laughs> You, know, you, you get downhearted, of course. Everyone gets downhearted, but you just got to keep going, you know, if you believe yeah. in it and you're prepared to put your whole body and, and soul into it, whatever you do, you know? You know? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Well, thank you, man, out. so much. Thank, thank you, you so yeah. much. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Where can people find your music? Where can they reach you? I mean, online. I mean, where okay. where can they find you? Well, my album, Apparitions, is on all the major streaming platforms. Uh, um, but you call, you'll find me at joehodgsonmusic.com as well. That's my own website where you can buy my album. Mm-hmm. And my handle on all the things like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter is Joe Hodgson Music. Awesome. We're going to have all that information in the description box Fantastic. below. So you guys can go ahead and get that just like you did last time. Just go ahead and support, man. I'm telling you, I'm glad that I'm a part of this. This is so wonderful. Thank you so much, Joe. And thank you guys so much for tuning in to Dream Chasers Radio. And until next time with the next update, because Joe is moving up.
That's right. Don't forget to dare to be different. Until next time. Bye, guys. I'm